Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars 30 Perfume Reviews. So today I'm very happy to be reviewing the brand new fragrance from Little Mix called Gold Magic. So this perfume was released this year, 2015, and it's Gold Mag or is Little Mix's first fragrance. Um, they kind of talked about this fragrance and they said that the name kind of uh, derived from um, their new single Black Magic, but at the same time was gold and elegant and gold and whatnot. So. Um, I got this as a as included in my swap with my friend Callum. Um, I have some more UK perfumes that I'm going to be reviewing later on that are from that swap. So anyway, here is Gold Magic by Little Mix. So all around the box, you have a picture of all four girls on each side, one of each side, like that. And then it says Gold Magic, and it's got the Little Mix LN there. And it says, Eau de Parfum, 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces. I got the 50 mil, obviously. On top, it's gold, and then you've got, like, a shiny gold of all of the Little Mix logos on, like, all four sides. And then on the bottom, you've got the, like, all the information with it being modest and sacks and licenses and LittleMixFragrances.com, so on and so forth. So, there's that. The bottle looks like this. The bottle's kind of plain. The bottle looks like this, and it says... Um, gold magic here on the front, and then you've got the little mix logo there on top again, and then it just kind of is all four sides like this. I kind of like how the liquid's done, so it kind of looks like it's floating a little bit. Um, my only issue with this bottle is my lid doesn't stay on very well. Like it's if I were to, like it doesn't hold very well at all. Um, I don't know if that's a bottle flaw or my personal bottle or what that is. So. Anyway, notes for this fragrance, top notes are lemon, raspberry, and apple, middle notes are violet and watermelon with base notes of musk. So straight off the bat, when you first spray it, I definitely get that apple, um, really strong apple in the first spray, kind of gives it a nice little like sour green apple bite. The lemon kind of adds that bite to it. Then the raspberry comes in and kind of um, adds a little bit more fruitiness to it. But I definitely feel like the violet from the heart is a definite standout. Um, I feel like the watermelon kind of adds a little bit of a, like a juiciness to the fragrance, but it's not super melony. But it's not completely lost in there. Um, when it dries down more, you get more of that lemon kind of coming out more. Um, but it's kind of balanced. It's not like super strong in the beginning and it's not super strong at the very end. You do get it more toward the middle and the base than you do the heart or the top. Um, the violet, like I said, is a very, very prominent note in this fragrance. Um, it's a very violet kind of, um, floral fragrance. It's not super floral. It's kind of got, like, a clean, fruity floral to it. It's not super fruity, and it's not super clean, and it's not super fruit floral. It's kind of a nice mix of all of them. But I definitely do feel like that violet is definitely the standout note. And it kind of adds a little bit of a mature quality to it. But as it dries down even more, once you get to that base, the musk, it kind of turns into like a lemony musk with a violet flower undertone. Um, it isn't what I expected. I expected with it being the watermelon and everything else, I was expecting it to be a fruity kind of melony burst um, with the mixing of the apple and the raspberry and the lemon and the, the violet and the musk giving it kind of a edgy end to it. I don't hate this fragrance. I actually really do like this fragrance. It didn't, it wasn't what I thought it was, but it did give me a whole new aspect of what I do like about it. I like almost the fact of, it kind of also has this weird, like, if you've ever smelled a magazine sample, it kind of has that, like, magazine, like, generic mag magazine sample to it, which I've never seen done in a fragrance, like, I've never actually, like, smelled a fragrance that that was, like, the kind of idea I got was a mag magazine sample, which I like because when you get magazine samples and you rub them on yourself and whatnot, you get the actual fragrance. You never really get that kind of, like, scent that's on the magazine, and I really like that scent, and it's just kind of, like, a nostalgia scent to me, so. Definitely, though, it is a violet lemon musky scent. I feel like this would be perfect for the summer or springtime. Definitely could be someone's signature scent. 
um, cause it's, it plays well into the rules and it's not overly powerful, but it's not overly, um, subtle either. So it's just kind of that good in between. I give it about a six hour lasting time. Not that it lasts terribly long, but it doesn't also fade away instantly like some other fragrances do. So, um, it could be a nighttime fragrance, but I don't think it is a nighttime fragrance. It could be, but... I definitely feel like this is more of a springtime, summer, daytime scent. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the source perfume. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.